Mr. Elba, you are all you you and I've been going talking for a long time and you are kind time. to me for many, many years. And I just wanted you to know that I appreciate you. And thank you for always continuing to do appreciate great work. You too, Thanks man. For job and, your, and your energy. You bring that every time. We don't need Rose. Idris, good to see you again, sir. How are you? What's up, Jake? How are you, man? I'm doing so well. I love this movie so much. So seriously, thank you for kicking ass as you always do. So I appreciate your time. Thank you very much, bro. Uh, I'm going to jump into this. I actually really do love the the whole animal stalking humans genre of this <laughs> of, of movies. This film and Jaws and Anaconda and Cujo and the birds and arachnophobia. I can't get enough of them. So of all of the whole animals killing humans movies which death do you think would be the worst which movies victims do you think had it the worst by being killed by that particular animal uh arachnophobia was gnarly for me i wasn't i wasn't into that at all um i'd say you know leo's near death uh in the revenants was pretty out there probably in the top 10 100 that's a good that's actually a great one um jeff goldblum told me one time that anytime he goes to a natural history museum and stands in front of a dinosaur people will kind of whisper they'll come over to him and say okay watch out it's a dinosaur watch out for jurassic park how do you think this movie will affect your ability to just be able to go to the zoo and just look at lions <laughs> yeah first of all i'm not going to any zoos to look at lions i don't think lions should be in zoos but but the truth is that I'm going to be associated. I just happen to have, I have a tattoo on my chest that says Lionheart. I've had it for years. Um, so I'm kind of like close to the species. I love, I love lions. I love that. Can I, can I, can I see like, just like a peek? Yeah, you can there you go. Lion's heart. Boom, boom. That's awesome. Dude, I love that. Um, thinking about the idea of going on vacation and, and being attacked, I'm genuinely curious how difficult it is for you to go on vacation and just not be left alone by fans? Like, do you have an insane attack by fans while on vacation story? Uh, no, man. I'm, you know, I usually keep a really low profile, uh, you know, like uh, sunglasses and a hat and just kind of sneak about and try and blend in. Um, but most, for the most part, like, you know, wherever I can go to a location, it's usually very, very quiet. Like, you know, void of people, like the moon. <laughs> love a good moon vacation i hear it's great in july you know you you mentioned we both our love of animals my dog is sitting on the couch right over there i love all animals and, and oftentimes when i do watch movies like this there brings up that debate of of who is actually the villain in the movies particularly that that debate has followed jaws for a long time like who actually is the villain in jaws and there's a strong argument to be made that like the lion really isn't the villain in a lot of ways i'm curious where do you stand on the villain debate when it comes to animals in movies because oftentimes it's animals that genuinely just want to be left alone no that's very true i mean i think it's you know our tendency in this genre to villainize the animal a lot of the times and you know that's what you know as you said the man versus beast genre i think you know we chose the name beast because it's a symbol of a few things, you know, what the human being has done to this particular lion is beast-like. It's ferocious and unfair, right? But what, um, you know, mourning and the death of, you know, his ex-wife and their mother is also a beast, you know? And what the lion has to become and the man has to become to survive this story is also beast-like. So it is a little play on words, but you know, we really did not want to villainize the animal. You know, we had lots of discussions about this um, and we tried to make it very clear why this lion is acting the way it does because it's very uncharacteristic of a, of a lion. Well, you guys did a really beautiful job of doing it. Uh, Mr. Elba, you are all you you and I have been going talking for a long time and you are kind time. to me for many, many years. And I just wanted you to know that I appreciate you. And thank you for always continuing to do great work. You too, Makes man. My job and, easy. Your, and your energy. You bring that every time. I appreciate it. Well, you make it easy when you make movies like this, man. So seriously, bless you. Hopefully see you in person soon. Yes, sir. Going, we don't need roads.